My favorite food is pickles. Wonder why no one Googles does my meal ever pickles. Hi, I'm Maya Bialik, and today I'm doing the Wired Autocomplete Interview. Okay, how Maya Bialik? How old is Maya Bialik? Maya Bialik is 44. She was born in 1975. How did Maya Bialik get into acting? When I was 11 years old, my parents typed a letter on a typewriter to different kids' agents with a picture of me that my dad took in the backyard and said, this kid looks like Bette Midler and Barbara Streisand. What do you think? And that's... I picked an agent from the ones who were interested based on that weird letter and my weird face. <laughs> my first audition was to play DJ on a little show called Full House. And the note that the casting agent gave to my manager was, she talks too fast. It's true. How tall is my Bialik? If I stand up straight, I'm five, four and a half, but I don't stand up straight. So I feel like I'm about like four, three. How do you pronounce my Bialik? Uh, my name is Hebrew. Maim is water. My last name is actually supposed to be two syllables. Bialik, but in English we say Bialik. Is Mayim Bialik? Is Mayim Bialik Canadian? No. I was born in San Diego and I do not hold Canadian citizenship. Is Mayim Bialik left-handed? I am mixed handed. I was born a righty. My mother was a lefty. My brother was a lefty. I was in a significant car accident eight years ago, which made me have to become much more ambidextrous. So I actually do all sports lefty. So yeah, I guess I'm mixed handed, but mostly right. Is my ambiolic vegetarian? No, I'm not. I am vegan. Vegetarians typically eat eggs or dairy. I do not eat any animal product or any animal byproduct. So I am vegan. Is my ambiolic a genius? I don't think I'm a genius. If you're talking about like IQ classifications, I don't even know what those are. So no. Is Maya Bialik in a Geico commercial? No, I'm not that little lizard. That's not me. What Maya Bialik? What is Maya Bialik's religion? My religious affiliation is I am Jewish. Person of the Jewish faith. What is Maya Bialik's new show? Glad you asked. Jim Parsons and I are producing a show called Call Me Cat. It's about a very unusual woman who does not have it all, but is still happy. What did my MBALIC study? I have an undergraduate degree in neuroscience, a minor in Hebrew and Jewish studies, and I hold a doctorate from UCLA, also in neuroscience in the field of psycho neuroendocrinology. What languages does my MBALIC speak? If I had to find a bathroom or a hospital, I could do that in English, pretty sure. I could do that in Spanish, I could do that in Hebrew, and I can read and write Yiddish, which is the language of Eastern European Jews. I can do some sign language, I know the alphabet and some basic signs, and I speak the language of love. Is my Bialik, is my Bialik related to Margaret Hamilton? No, just because we both have prominent noses. I mean, come on people. Is my Bialik related to Bette Midler? I'm not related to Bette Midler, but I did play Bette Midler's character when I was in Beaches, when I was 12 years old, but we're not related. We just look alike. Is my Bialik a real scientist? I mean, it depends on your definition of real scientist. I do hold a PhD in neuroscience from UCLA. I don't currently live and, and make my living as a scientist, but I guess I'm a real scientist, yes. Is my Bialik in What a Girl Wants? First I thought that said, is my Bialik what a girl wants? And I was gonna be like, oh yeah, she is. I don't know what what a girl wants is, but I don't think I'm in it. But there's a song, what a girl wants, what a girl needs, what a, right? I think it's, okay. Is my Bialik single? I'm dating someone, but technically, technically still open, I guess. Mayim Bialik. Are Mayim Bialik and Kaylee Cuoco friends? Well, we worked together for nine years and I went to her wedding and celebrated things with her. I would say we're friends. Are Mayim Bialik and Jim Parsons friends? Yeah, Jim Parsons and I check in with each other in life. We're working together on this new show that we're producing together. I've been to life events and know his family and yeah, we're friends. Can Maya Bialik really play the harp? I learned to play the harp for the Big Bang Theory. I'm a piano player, a bass player, and a trumpet player. I did learn to play the harp rudimentarily. For the episode where Leonard and Penny get married, that is not me playing the harp because they want like a really elaborate fancy thing and I do not play well enough for that. So I play well enough to like play Everybody Hurts by R.E.M. Are you afraid of the dark, Maya Bialik? That's creepy. Yes. Can Maya Bialik sing? Yes, I can. 
Did my Bialik, uh-oh, did I what? Did my Bialik go to prom? I did not go to my own prom. I went to my close friend Sebastian's prom in Laramie, Wyoming. His parents and my parents have been friends since before we were born and we grew up hanging out together and he invited me to his prom and it was awesome. Did my Bialik win an Emmy? Thanks for rubbing it in. No, I didn't. I think I was nominated four times, five? Four, five? I don't remember, because I never won. Did Maya Bialik really sing in Beaches? No. That's a grown-up woman singing. This is a really interesting kind of Hollywood folklore. Bette Midler chose the voice that she wanted for her character to sing like. I do not sing like an adult. I was 12. I sang like a 12-year-old who could sing. But I am singing along with the track is why it mostly looks like I'm singing, because I actually was when we filmed that. Yep, but I can sing. And I've sang Gloria Love a lot in my life. Did Maya Bialik play Blossom? <laughs> yeah, you could have just Googled Blossom and see, never mind. Maya Bialik. Why is Maya Bialik vegan? Because she loves animals. Why am I talking about myself in the third person? Maya Bialik. <laughs> I am vegan because I love animals and the way that I show my love is by not consuming animals or any animal byproducts. I'm vegan because of the economic impact that storing animals for their um, flesh and byproducts creates. And I'm vegan because of the environmental impact of farming. I'm also vegan because of the health implications. Yeah. When did Maya Bialik join Big Bang? I'm terrible with numbers of years, but I appeared in the season finale of season three and then was made a regular at the same time that Melissa Rauch was. Melissa Rauch, who played Bernadette, we were made regulars in season four. I had an infant and a toddler and I was trying to get back into the business because I needed health insurance. This is a true story. I had never seen the Big Bang Theory and I was told to go on this audition and I did. They said, we need a female Jim Parsons. And I said, who's that? And I Googled him and I was like, oh, I get this character. I know everyone like this character. I went to grad school and I did my best impression of him. And on my resume, it says miscellaneous PhD neuroscience, but that's not why I got the job. You don't have to be a neuroscientist to play one on TV. Was Maya Bialik on MacGyver? Yes, I was. Why did Maya Bialik leave Lego Masters? <laughs> I think they mean, why didn't I get to stay to judge? I really wanted to. I had a work appointment for Call Me Cat, which is the show that I'm producing and starring in with Jim Parsons. I had already booked Lego Masters and I really didn't want to back out because I really wanted to do it. So they made it so that I could at least be there for as much as I could before I had to go to work. That's why I left. Why Maya Bialik YouTube? I know, right? Why? because I love talking to people about things that are hopefully interesting and important. And I love finding people like me. I do a lot on mental health. I do a lot on my life behind the scenes. And I think it's a really interesting way to communicate with an audience. So that's why Maya and Bialik YouTube. Who are Maya and Bialik's parents? Two very, very strange people. My father passed away five years ago. He was a, a filmmaker and a writer and a photographer. He made his living as an English and drama teacher. And my mother was also a teacher. My parents were civil rights activists and my mother started teaching in the women's prison in Harlem. My parents were documentary filmmakers together. My mom taught early education. My father was and my mother is very, very quirky, funny outrageous and they also always wore matching outfits like for family events like we're both wearing plaid we're both wearing white linen adorable was my Bialik in roseanne no i mean sarah gilbert was in roseanne unless you think i'm roseanne oh. was my Bialik punky brewster no and to the millions of people who shout this at me on the street hey punky brewster i was not punky brewster so Lane Moonfry was Punky Brewster. That was an afternoon kids show. Blossom was a primetime television show on NBC. We aired after Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I was not an orphan who wore like different color shoes. I was just like a quirky girl who was smart, but also popular-ish. Who was Maya Bialik married to? I was married to my ex-husband. <laughs> His name's Michael. His name's still Michael. Does Maya Bialik, uh-oh. Does Maya Bialik have a child? I do. And then I also have another one. They're almost 12 and almost 15. They're both boys. I don't know why I made that sound so weird. Does Maya Bialik have siblings? Yes, I do. I have a brother who's four years older than me. Does Maya Bialik have an Instagram? Yes, I do. It's Miss Maya, M-I-S-S-M-A-Y-I-M. Like, do you miss Maya? <laughs> also, someone else stole my name, so that's why I'm Miss Maya. Does Maya Bialik have a tattoo? As a matter of fact, I have two, and they're both in relatively hidden places. And no, it's not a dolphin on my ankle. 
Thank you so much for watching Wired. Thank you for all your questions. Thank you for your curiosity about me. I mean, I think I learned new things about me, so thank you.